Why do these big family occasions cause so many problems? My 16th birthday was only days away and I was hoping it would be trouble free. You wanted to go to Newington, you got to go to Newington. You get all the privileges oh, that go with being okay, in Okay, I'm sport rotten. I'm a, I'm a little bastard, right? I'm spoiled. The way right. you spoke last week, a, yes. I have no time for this conversation. Well, I'll tell you what, you better start making time. I'll tie well, you up. I'm not, I'm not saying sorry to Laurie. And that's well, it. You won't get your birthday present. I wasn't going to get one anyway. Yes, it is. It's you in the house. You can't blackmail me like that. Yes, I can. My birthday's tomorrow. Big deal. You're 16. I know. See births, deaths and marriages registry of. Does the office there still, like, marry people? OK. Um, what... Well, see, my fiancé and I want to do that. What's the procedure? Who do you hate, Laurie or me? Oh, both of you. I'm a sadist. I'm going to come in what's with a machine with gun and kill you. <laughs> well, I don't know what's wrong with me. I can't live like I'm 13 anymore. But you are. Can't follow all these Your stupid behaviour rules. is a thirteen year old. You come home from school, you go to the toilet, you come <laughs> back out, you get into the chocolate. So you can have witnesses. Right. Right, okay. Alright, thanks a lot. Alright, bye bye. You're gonna have two witnesses over the age of eighteen. And it costs ninety five dollars. As soon as you can't win an argument, you change the subject. Which subject do you want to go back to? I've forgotten now. Let me think. Do you want to end up like me? No. What's wrong with end up like... Look what you got. I'm going to be much harder with Michael. I'm going to firm up and cut off all the rough edges. I think I'm too soft with Michael. I don't think he's had a hiding in his life. My, maybe one. Is it... But then again, he's never been a child that needed a hiding either. Paul needed a hiding, but Michael has never been naughty enough to really to do, to smack him. <laughs> but I am going, I realise I have to firm up with Michael. Because now in the next few years, it's going to be a real, real hard battle. My mum doesn't know about that speaking yet either, so I don't know what she's going to do when she finds it. I'm so because the dog's got me pants. I reckon there are a lot of fellas out there. They do their own song because they don't live at home. But um, it's only rough. He says better than I do. Below. It's just probably from being with mum when mum was away from dad, you know, you just had to do it. Because mum didn't have any time, you know. I'm running out of friends. My 16th birthday was just days away. It was going to be the social event of the year. And Mum had bought me 90 invitation cards. It was going to be big. You just cook the dinner and I'll dig the holes. Fair enough. Don't expect me to ever help you shovel anything again. You can shovel your own. Dig my own grave. <laughs> exactly. That's just what I did. Actually, you might have to be a bit wider fit in there. If you break my legs and fold them up behind me, and be fit. Just cut you into little pieces. Mix a pretty fussy eater, so it's really hard to cook him something different. It's sort of the same thing every week, over and over again. But. So he doesn't force me to cook. He doesn't have to have his main meal every night, homemade vegetables and everything, so it's good. Because it's really hard when you work six days a week. The last thing you feel like doing is coming home and cooking, but we can't eat takeaway six days a week because we'd be dead by now. Quick of it, this is getting bloody hot. Very good job, dear. Did you like that? That's was you I was, actually. Well, don't ask me to do it again. <laughs> I'm wrapped in being married, because if I wasn't married, it's I'd have bloody nuts. nothing. You know, I mean, having someone else to share your money with and someone else to look after you. So many times I hear people say, oh, don't get married, never get married, you shouldn't do that, you, sh you know, that's crazy, stay single as long as you can. That's a lot of rubbish.
You're not looking for more cars, are you, dear? No, I'm just looking through them, to see what's, um, get an idea of price. You get a hiding if so you So I'm want. up with everything, you know? Wish you were up to date you don't with me. Read. You don't read, you don't know. I had to ask Laurie about a DJ for my party. I knew it was a touch and go situation. And can I have a DJ too? Is that okay? Laurie? What? Can he have a DJ? Because you won't be spending much money on food, so I thought. Well, how much does the DJ cost? Yeah, I've got to find out. The DJ, why do you have to have a G DJ? What does he do? Just plays records all night? Yeah. What do you think about the DJ? Is that okay with you? I just said find out how much it is first. All right, that's what you've got to do first, right? And we'll have to get Paul to come over too. Why? So people don't crash the party. They won't crash the party, sweetheart. You can easily put them Oh, yeah, yeah. Maybe 20 years ago, Mum, you know. Why? But today, if... You know, there'll be easy another 40 people if you didn't have a person at the gate. Bullshit. But I don't want to be embarrassed, but, you know. Do you think it's a little bit dramatic saying you've got to have a bouncer at a private person's okay. gate? Fine. We'll leave the gate open. We'll leave the pontoon there. And you see, you just see. You think I'm so stupid, but if you, if you look around and open your eyes, you'll see. We'll wait till the night. I think we'll just have a nice orderly party, thank you. All right? I'm just warning you, that's all. I'm just saying that either, either Laurie's at the gate or someone's got to be there. Laurie can be at the gate then. What's the password? <laughs> We could go without a shopping for a fortnight, use the shopping money to get registered, um, married if we have to. If worst comes to worst, that's well, what we'll do. Well, single celebrants only cost about but, sixty um, or seventy bucks. It, we can't go and say, "Oh, mum will pay for this, mum will pay for that, mum will it's, pay it's for this." It's just not the right because thing. Because it's not, it's not the done thing, you know. Because later on, it could be thrown in your face, and you wouldn't want to have your wedding thrown in your face, would you? And, I hope you're going to put that magazine down and give me a bit of a hand in a minute. Do a hand with well, what? It won't, it won't be a party like I've that. I've just said, who's coming? Has he, has he give you the list? How many people's coming? Well, he wrote the invitations yesterday. Well, how many is he invited? I don't know. We'll find out how many he's invited, for a start. Well, we need Before a bouncer. Well, we'll have to find out how many's coming. He might have, we might have to knock a few on the head. There might be that many coming. We mightn't have the room for that. Well, I don't want a DJ here. Because I'm just going to be that bloody well, noisy. Well, you've just said yes thing. to the boy. Well, Please, I've just, one just one realised, I mean, you'd have to have, it's, you know, it's crazy having a DJ But you keep doing this. You say yes one minute and then you say no when he's gone. Bag of fish. We will have an orderly party, Michael, thank you. With a thuggeries. So any thugs that might be coming, just tell them not to come to the street. How many blacks have you invited? This is the rugby tour, guys. Yeah. Where do they live? Mainly over the other side. Yeah. So a hell of a lot of them might How come. many have you invited? It's about 32 rugby guys and about seven others, other guys. Jeez, a lot of people. I don't know where to put them all. Well, stand on one Rust level. Almighty. Two thirds of them won't come, Laurie. Well, I hope they don't all come. That's 40. That's a lot of people. This is our home. We're certainly not going to start bloody having fights or bloody all trouble in this joint. Right. If there's any idea that we're going to, the whole thing's off. Forget it. I can't believe so. Because the cops will only come here once or twice and they'll leave you on your own if we keep ringing them. If there's what? trouble here, the cops well, will there's be... not going to be any trouble. Well, Michael seems to think there is. Trouble. Oh, yeah, there's going to be trouble. Michael seems to think there's going to be trouble there. if we've got well, no bouncers. But you need a bouncer at the gate. Come on. saying. Well, say I invite three guys, they bring a friend along. He's he's a guy that I don't like. Well, you tell him not to bring friends. Tell him not to bring friends. Oh, and they're going to do that. It's by invitation only. Well, you've you only, we've only got room for 30 people here, maximum. So oh. if you've invited 37 and they're all going to bring friends, we haven't got enough room. Have we? Common sense. Forget about it, man. Michael, well, you can sit right down. All I'm saying is... You can cut it out right now. If you've invited 37 people here and they're all going to bring friends, you can't bring friends. You sit down right now. For God's sake, he can have a bloody birthday party. Of course party. he can, but he's just saying it. They're all going to bring friends and there's going to be bloody a million people here. We haven't got the room. Of course we haven't got the room. He's not stupid. Well, you heard what he just said, Nolan. God, stress, Laurie. One of these days I'll pack me bloody bags and I'm going out of here. Truly, there's more drama living in this house than living out of it. I don't know why. I don't know why. Well, wouldn't have a clue. Did you ever have a party as a child? Of course I did. How many parties did you have as a child? Oh, I would have had two or three when I was a kid. Did, did you have one when you were 16? A teenager? I can't remember that I had one but when I was 16. But 16's an age. I can't remember that I had a party. I probably did. Mike was having a fight the other day and, um, Laurie goes, it's what I own over in the factory is mine 
I've worked hard for it and I don't want you to go over and touch it. And what I own in this house, in my house, well, you know, that offends me because it's not his house. Right, we'll keep an orderly party for Saturday night. All right? I've just warned you. I just, I I just like things. the warning. I don't even like what I heard. So, so don't tell me anymore. you think I'm stupid or something? I don't think you're stupid. That's the same thing. It's bloody necessary. Settle down. I had a 21st and no, we didn't have any gate crashes. We had your damn party over at the park. We didn't have gate crashes. Party over at the park. How old was I, Mum? Eight, eight. What are you going to say to Laurie I, when something is wrecked on Saturday night? Because if you're inviting these sort of people, I don't want them in my exactly home. What's in the back of my mind? Who's coming in the I house? I thought they were Newington boys. Who's coming in the house? No one's coming. What if they wreck the outside so, of the house? Well, well, that's why you put all the furniture down the side so there's nothing that people can wreck. But we're not going to have fights. I said, I never said a fight. This is a figment of someone's imagination. Laurie's come up all oh, year, there's going to be a brawl in my backyard. All I said is that you've got to have someone at the gate to stop people I don't want coming in here, coming in here. That's all I said. I never well, said anything about the idea that there's going to be people there that you don't want, we don't have it here. Simple as that. That's fine. Forget about it. Uh, nine times out of ten to, to keep the peace, I just just go along with things. I don't, um, I don't like to, you know, make a scene or cause a problem because then uh, Nolene gets upset with whoever it is and then they start to fight and then there's an all on hell of a bloody blue and so it's easier for me just not to say anything and try to keep out of the out of it. I mean, but at times it's very hard not to, you know, when you see things happening that I th think shouldn't happen and I don't think it's right. So, you know, now and again I, I chip in and say my piece and, um, you know, generally I, I'm not liked when I do that. You yeah. are being a smart ass, Michael. You reckon? You really think so? Well, if you've got any idea that there's going to be trouble here, well, well, you we don't want trouble. What, are, you, are you thick or something? Is there something wrong? I said there wasn't going to be fighting in the backyard. I just said people that I don't want coming in should be stopped from coming in. Is there something wrong with that? But when they walk down the side and they're not meant to be here, can't you walk up and say, listen, mate, you can't stay here? Can't you do that? Isn't that what you normally do? If someone came to my front door to a party that weren't, it wasn't meant to be here, I'd go and say, you can't come in. Can't you do that? You guys are living in the past, I think. No, we're not. No, we're not. We're living, we're living, we're in, living our in our time, right here we're and now. We're living in our home. We're living in the past. Right, so we, we get out there and we do the twist and the bop and the. Don't know what you do. The shimmy shimmy or whatever. Do we? Do whatever you like. Well, uh, Within reason. Know. Michael, the age he is, um, he um, sort of, I suppose, rejects me. But I think deep down he probably knows I'm right, but he just bungs on a bit of an act and, you know, and then, uh, that's when it's hard to be a stepfather. You know, I was maybe I'm I'm old fashioned, but I was brought up I was brought up to say yes sir, no sir and I wouldn't say a word against my mother and father. If they said something, I mean I wouldn't like it and I'd probably, you know, go off in a half, but I wouldn't swear at them or um, you know and say nasty things to them. But kids of today do. Just get some common sense into the whole thing. Don't don't talk in riddles or try to, you know, wave well, it away as if it doesn't matter. What's that? It does matter. Forget and it. we can't have any more Forget than right 40 down. people in. Yes, Michael. We're not having any more than 40 people it's in. You should be a 16-year-old little twit. Yeah, it's a joke. Sit down and write down your guests. It. It's not a joke. You think it's, it's a joke. Not. We don't think it's a joke. Look, if you want to have a party here, 40 people is the limit. No one. Simple as that. There we go. It's all over. No more screaming. Maybe I spoilt my children. Or maybe I tried to give my children too much. And in Michael, more so because he was always a little boy. He was always my little child. I think, from what I can see, and what Laurie sort of hammers down my neck, he says that I have, I've ruined him. I sort of, I've thought about this all night. Perhaps I have. Laurie's right then, okay? You know? Well, then you treat him with some respect. You can't respect someone who, who doesn't at least show me a little bit of respect. What, two weeks ago, you told me you loved him. Oh, and I, and I don't now. Well, you can't love a person and have no respect for them. He doesn't give a shit, of truthfully. he does. Right? When does he ever show any recognition that I live? Does he come to sport? No. But he's never gone to sport with does his he, own does, kids. Does he, does he show any interest in what I do? No. But he never did that for his own children. Do I, do I not go to races to, to support him? Yes. Foil, just dunk yeah. it around. And... I've seen that. Uh... You know, 
know when they're empty. Well, you will know when they're empty. In Canberra today, the Queen had to endure some official breaches of protocol. The Prime Minister's wife, Anita, once again angered royalists, replacing the traditional curtsy with a bow of the head. And Paul Keating himself abandoned customary deference, his arm around the royal waist. What he said wasn't disrespectful, you know, it's just He's his just opinion. telling it how it was. The Poms are just carrying on too much about it. They are. They're... He did not offend anyone. Like, no one could give a shit what he did right. Honestly, Australians don't care. Oh, no. She's our queen too. It's you know, and the problem is going. Oh, they've insult insulted the royal family. If she didn't like it, she would have said, "Get your hand off me," or you know, mm. she would have said something after his speech about mm. the Republican being a republic. But they're just worried that they, you know, Australia wants to sever their ties with um, but the British colony, you know, and that's what we're going to do. Sooner or later, we're going to do it. British tabloids always do this. They always got to stick their nose like in other people's mm. business. All you read about in British papers is, oh, Princess Di did this, oh, Princess, uh, Duchess Fergie, or whatever her name is, Fergie's having an affair with a Dallas oil who dealer. Yeah, who gives a shit? She bloody wants. It's just a load of crap. It's her life. You're doing nothing about your bloody country. Oh, it is rock and bloody ruins, and yeah. you're doing nothing about it. That's because all the keywords have been it. over here. Get oh, off. Garbage. Oh, garbage. We got mate. our money, we ran the only home. Th the only thing we learned off you blokes was how to have a honey. Oh, God, you Australians would stand up and say, this is Australia, and we're going to do this. We tried that, but Bob Walker changed the rules. We used to have a white Australia that policy wasn't here. Bob, uh, that and the moment Bob Walker Bob left the, Liberal, the Labor Party, now he wants to be a millionaire and become a Liberal. Does not. Oh, oh not, does Barry, not. Barry, believe it or not, I think Bob... He won't vote again. He's the liberal we have ever He had. would walk across the, the floor tomorrow if it suited him. That's what he's doing. That's oh, exactly no, what he's not. doing. Stop bloody complaining. Get off your asses and do something about your country. Oh, I don't, you know, I don't think we complain any more than anybody you else. You do complain. You bellyache all We've got day. The best country in the world. Every bastard wants to live here. They don't want to live here. Oh, yeah, they, they do. do. They're, they're moving out in droves. No, they're going hey. to Queensland. You got a fourteen thousand dollar stallion. Why can't I? Why can't you just have a, a fourteen thousand dollar Commodore? Would you want a Mustang? I don't want a Mustang. I just want a normal Commodore, a normal one. I don't want a no normal one. No flary guards and stickers all over it. I don't want it. Oh, I don't want a normal. Well, one. then I'll keep my car because I don't want one. Why? Because I don't like it. You don't like it? I hate bugs. I don't bugs. want it. I hate bugs. <laughs> I don't want it. I hate it. You won't car. talk me in it because it's my bloody car and I don't friggin' want it. So it's got power steering, air conditioning. I don't care, so it's a normal car, VL Commodore or a VK one. Well, what's the difference? You just drive it, so what's the difference? That's right, I only drive it. So that's why it matters because it's my car, I drive it. But they all, all Commodores are Commodores are Commodore to you. That's right, and it's my car. And I'm going to drive it probably as much yeah, as you are. Yeah, see, so that's all you're worried about because you've got to get in it. So yeah, you've well, got to I'm have not going to get foot. in a bag of shit bog stock Commodore. No way. I want a normal car. I don't want a rev head car. Well, what? You say this now after 10 years. My Starion's not a rev head You've car. had a walking chore. You've had a turbo Starion. You've had a bloody V8 Mazda. But you had the V8 but Mazda. You drove it. You bought all the cars you Get a you nitrous got. oxide injected VC V8 Valley. <laughs> it was value. yours. It was well, it's yours too. It was yours, but you I used to drive it. You drove more than I did. Yeah, because that's the only car we had. You had a bloody two-door Tirana. So, what was done to that? Man, extractors, cans, oh, twin really carbs. Oh, yeah, but it was done up car. Every car you've ever had has been something out of the ordinary, and now you want to just get a VL Commodore. I don't want a flying car, I just want a six cylinder turbo or a V8. They only fly as far as you put your foot on the accelerator. That's right. Well, you don't have to go fast if you don't want to. What, you think if I've got it, I'm not going to use it? I oh, know, that's your problem. <laughs> well, that's you, that's not me. Well, it's your freaking problem. No, so you sell the stereo and put the money into the race car. Bullshit. You stick that up your nose, boy. <laughs> Forget it. Sell your bike and your <clears throat> truck and your ute and your business and your house and you can do what you want. There's no way my car's going for a race car. All right, mister. That's it. That's it. Sweetness. Sweet jobs. I'm gonna hit you. What's this, Michael? Inside Sport. It's not got dirty shoelaces on it, has it? No, it's a sporting magazine. Oh. You can have anything you like for breakfast, sweetheart. 
We um need to talk about the wedding. Yes, we do. What is he meant to be in here? I'm or out going there? to tell Mum. Well, I haven't told Mum yet. <laughs> So I'm talking to Mum tomorrow night anyway. You see, the worst of it is, is I'm becoming to be the ogre, and really I'm not the ogre at all. No, you're not. So if we can't all get in and make your wedding a very, very pleasant day, there's something I'd wrong. I'd rather do it. Is yeah. your mother's place big enough? No, well, Mum only lives in a unit. Is your father's place big she, enough? He lives in a unit too. Right. And this is like, no, What about Megan's? The water. Will oh, anyone get upset if it's it. held here? No way. No. Have some nice champagne for them as dinner is being served, lunch is being served. I've already spoken to Annette and Yvette. We're that perfectly we'll do happy. Make all the food, to food ourselves. The food. Well, cold chicken. You know, you'd have everything, Dion. There's not a problem with the food at all. It's how many people you'd like for seating. There's not going to be many people at all. <laughs> <laughs> this one's for me. <laughs> Look at you, you're all excited now, aren't you? Yeah, I just I don't want any ideals. problems. I don't want any problems at all. I don't want anyone saying, Nolene said it had to be here because it doesn't no, have well, to be here. It's... It can be two ways. It can be any way you like. It's your wedding, not mine. Mm -hmm. But please do not tell anyone that I want it here. No. Nothing. Please. It's my idea entirely. It's a good idea that people live together before they get married. It gives you a chance to establish ground rules and figure out who does what and when around the house. When I cook dinner, this was the deal when we moved in. I cook, you wash up, right? You've left them there now for 24 hours and I want them clean. So go and do it. Stretch it, bend it, double it. <laughs> go and do no. it, please, before you go to football. I have to stay up late with Kane all the time. You do while not. You sleep. Yeah, bull. Who gets up and does the two o'clock or four o'clock feed now? Me. 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 Just do it, please. No, it's getting knotted. Just, can you please do it? No. Just stop it and go and do the washing up. No. I hope marriage to Paul and Dion is everything that they want. I hope that they are sure that they want one another now. Because, you know, at times Paul is very, very strict with Dion. Very, very strict with her. Very very domineering at times. You know, she has got a brain and she should be allowed to think for herself, which she tries to do. But he's very strong, very overpowering at times. The social event of the year turned into a rally bash. The party was eventually cancelled and all my friends were told not to come. Instead, I spent a nice night with my family. Hey, Joanne. Look at all the curls, what happened? Hey? Yeah, what happened to all the curls? Oh, girls, it's all for yeah. okay. Little school girl. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Did you read the card? Yes. He's not like yeah, that. Yeah, he's big. I was having strawberry, strawberry. Is that for me? No, it's not for you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I like that. That's, that's Do good. Do you like that one? Yeah, I like nice that one. Nice one. Yeah. 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 In the middle of this family gathering, Diane disappeared next door with Pat. The young shoes don't fit. I look, do I look fat hanging over here? No, you don't. This hangs oh, over. Oh, no. fabulous, Diane. No. Right. OK, either you've got to bob down or I've got to get up. Come on. Uh, in front here. Just pull your hair back. Jo, have you got a... A comb? A comb or something yeah, like that. Okay. Drew, that is perfect for you. The shoes don't fit. I tried them on. You can get new shoes made. Oh, God, We've got material. I feel like a princess. You look like one. I do. I do. It suits you. I like it. You could even it's have beautiful. the yeah. the um the big. Oh, this is perfect. No, oh, yeah. It's foxing. I wasn't foxing. It's can't. I wasn't foxing. Laurie can be a great bloke when he's in a good mood, but when he's got the shits, man. Don't even talk to him. There's been times when I went over there when I was a little kid, like when I moved out of home and I went over to see my mum, that I sat there for half an hour at the same table with Laurie and only said good day. You know, um, 
sometimes he goes out of his way to help you or talk to you, but sometimes he won't even say boo to you. I'm sure she wouldn't go. Oh, my God, I'm going to cry. He can't show Paul that. Oh, my God, looks beautiful. I always wanted just to be a bride. No different to Dion. Exactly her thoughts were my thoughts back then. To be married, live a happily ever after, have a lovely home, children. It doesn't work that way. Doesn't work that way. It's such a beautiful dress. I want to get married tomorrow so I can wear this. Miss Floyd. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Wussy Boy. Happy birthday to you. That would have to have been the best night we've had in this house in three years. I didn't see Paul grumble or moan or get unhappy. In fact, he laughed, he jumped around in there, he played pool with the boys. Dion was her normal self and she is a, she's a top little girl, top little girl. But there was no arguing, there was no bitching, no fighting, no nothing. In fact, Laurie, bo we both said the next day, what a good night, what a good night. That's how it should always be, you know, it really should. It should always be exactly like it was the other night. It was lovely. So as long as the wedding was to go off like that, it'd be superb. Um, the other lady said... Isn't you, it gorgeous? If you, would you please read over? Cause I no, can't. no. No, you can't because Paul's there, you see. You can't. Wouldn't you like that in the backyard? Yes. Oh, <laughs> I trace my mind if straight away. Get, get married, married. Isn't it beautiful? I love it. Can't you just get no, married just... as a bride? I will, I'm going to. I don't care what Paul wears. <laughs> as long as it's not shorts in a singlet. Oh, that's beautiful. All right, all right. I'll tell Paul that we're getting married. You're going married. to be a bride. Exactly. Paul and Dion may be finding things tough now, but they'll soon get better, I hope. But in the meantime, they've got each other and Kane. But they could do with a new fridge.